A HyperDoc, or a multimedia text set, is an interactive Google Doc that guides students through innovative and inquiry-based learning lessons using directions, graphic organizers, links, and possible collaboration. The learning can be made to be self-directed and students can work at their own pace. Think about how you're using Docs in the classroom. Are you creating a space for student self-direction? Are you utilizing links or graphical organizers? If so, you're on the right track, and you might even be using HyperDocs without even knowing it. HyperDocs are truly versatile. They can be used just about anywhere in the curriculum. Let's think about a few specific characteristics of HyperDocs, such as opportunities for collaboration, student to student and teacher to student, directions to guide students through their learning at their own pace, graphic organizers to organize information and student work, links to additional resources and learning activities, powerful, thought-provoking questions. HyperDocs can easily become fancy digital worksheets. To avoid this, ask yourself, what is it I can do now that I couldn't do before? Let's go ahead and set up a quick HyperDoc as an example. We're going to use the topic of learning about a resume. So I'm going to type in resume learning as the title of my worksheet as just something generic. HyperDocs usually work with tables, so pulling in the information that we learned from the table section, we're going to use that here. I'm going to insert a table that is 2 by 1. There are a lot of different methods and ways that you can set up your HyperDoc. One is the explain, apply, share. Um, there are many, many different options. The one we're going to look at today is going to look at five different sections. So this section is going to be prior knowledge. And then below this, I'm going to insert a new table that's the same. And I'm going to make this section engage and explore. And then I can actually, if I want to, just copy this table down here for the next section. And this section will be apply and create. I'll do another one that's called share, and then a final section that we are going to call self-assess. So for the prior knowledge, in a HyperDoc, we want to make this interactive. So in the prior knowledge section, we might, we want to find a way to learn what students already know. So I may ask a question, what do you already know about resumes? And like I showed before, we can insert a table inside a table so that students can enter their answer and it's easier for us to find. Where have you seen a resume before? And then again, I'm just going to insert a single cell table. I want to put a picture in here. I can use the add-on Goofy if I want to, to pull that in. So I'm going to search knowledge here. And I am going to pull in one of those images by clicking on it. And then I can resize that so it fits within my HyperDoc. We want to add some color to this. We want to format the font so it looks better as well. Under Engage and Explore, I want to give them some links. So take a look at this link and review the resumes. Here I may go out and search for resume examples and find a good site, not just the first one that, I'm, that I find on here, but I'm going to take that link and I am going to hyperlink that. So resume examples, and then I'm going to hyperlink that so students can take a look. Now read this article. And I'm going to find an article, maybe something on Khan Academy or Brain Pop, um, might have them watch a video. So let's find so I find an article about writing a resume, and I'm going to link that here. And then I want them to watch this video. And the video is going to be from YouTube. Once students have that, under Apply and Create, we want students to create something. So we're going to have them use Google Docs to create a first draft of your resume.
after you've created the draft, paste the link below. And again, since I want them to put a link in, I'm going to insert that single column, <clears throat> that single cell table. Now we're going to make this a little bit more collaborative. So under sharing, I'm going to have students share your work with your classmates. And then I'll give them steps to do that. So their instructions may be change the sharing settings on your resume draft so that anyone can comment or view and then I may put post the link to your resume draft in this form and then I'll give them a link to a form where they can post for their classmates to look at then I'll say click here to view the responses from your classmates and leave at least three comments on other classmates' resumes. Then under self-assess, I may have students ask some more questions and I may have them fill out a Google form. So what did you do well on your resume? Maybe a question that I ask. And then maybe what could use improvement? In which areas could you improve? and then add in another box. Now obviously I need to make this look better. I need to add in more pictures, make things more clickable, more fun. A lot of times in a hyperdoc, you may want to give students a symbol or an icon, letting them know what you're looking for in each response box. So here, we want students to write a response. So I'm going to go over here to Emojipedia, and I'm going to find the pencil icon and I'm going to put an icon of a pencil in this cell because I want students to write the response. But down here, we want them to paste a link. So I'm going to go back to Emojipedia and I'm going to look for a link icon. And I'm going to put that in this cell so students very quickly and easily know that I'm looking for a link rather than them just to write text. I'm going to go ahead and finish cleaning this up and making it look a little better so you can see the end result of a hyperdoc.